Hi, how are you? I am so over the moon excited to be here today. I'm going to wait just a couple seconds so some people can hop on live. I know there's a, a little bit of a delay. Boy, have I got some exciting things to share with you. I am sitting here in the lobby of the Hilton Polaris Hotel. I see my girlfriend, Lisa Mosher, just joined in, and she's going to be in this exact spot in just a couple of hours. You can see there's a fire roaring in the background. L. Retzel is checking in at the front desk. Um, there's, I don't know who that guy is over there, but there are so many people who are showing up, filled up. I've seen Nikki Kliegel. I've seen um, Wendy Gentry. She doesn't know I saw her, but I saw her. I've been with Kirsten and David Samuel. I've seen Tiffany and Dexter Godfrey. I mean, y'all, it is like a list authors, speakers, and entrepreneurs. And I wanted to share with you a lesson that I've learned. And if anybody pops in on my peripheral, I'll try to get them to come on screen with me, okay? But for right now, I wanna talk about growth and how growth only happens in the lessons. Let me tell you a little something about what happened. I knew I was going to attend this conference and this conference is the Igniting Souls Conference. It's an annual conference. And trust me, y'all, I don't care how cold it is outside, the temperature in here is about 40 degrees warmer. The people buzzing around this hotel right now are so fired up. They are so on fire. We are all here to close the gap between where we are and where we want to be. And that is why I'm talking about growth, because you can't get to where you want to go standing here. Oh, and there's Teresa. She's checking in at the front desk, breast cancer survivor, brave, strong, fearless. Okay, back to my topic. Growth. It happens in the lessons. And I learned a lesson the hard way yesterday. But see, this is the difference. I am taking that lesson and I'm taking ownership accountability and responsibility for my part in this lesson. That means I have a victor mindset instead of a victim mindset. Because if you have a victim mindset, you think life happens to you as opposed to life happening for you. You get stuck in the blame, excuse, and denial mode. Here's what I learned yesterday. In preparation for this conference, I knew I would have the opportunity to sell some of my books here. So in order to make things easy on myself, I didn't want to have to haul them on an airplane, check the luggage, carry the weight. Instead, I put them in a box. I sent them priority mail to the hotel. My husband and I arrived at the hotel yesterday. We checked in. I told them there was a package waiting for me. Sent it with a tracking number. I knew it had arrived. What I did not know, is that the post office would mangle the box so badly that everything with the exception of the packing materials was gone. Yeah, let that sink in for a minute. 40 copies of my book, What's Your Scarlet Letter? Left Bentonville, Arkansas in a box weighing almost 19 pounds. When I arrived in Columbus, Ohio, I arrived to a mangled box that weighed mere ounces. Every single copy gone. Now at this point, I had a choice. Actually, I had lots of choices. Because I'm in a growth mindset, because I want to close the gap, because I'm a victor instead of a victim, I took a breath. I made the appropriate phone calls. I have a claim filed. I have the customer affairs number. And trust me, y'all, I'm calling customer affairs. USPS and I are going to have a discussion. But the bottom line is this. I got proactive. I immediately reached out to two different printers to see if they could replace those books and have them here in time. That's a big negatory, even with express overnight shipping, because the books have to be printed. So I reached out to my publisher, who actually runs this conference. He has already committed that next year I can sell my books at that conference. And what has that done? It's taught me lessons. A, always have a backup plan. 
Thankfully, I grabbed two hard copies of my book to bring with me. Because of that, I'll have a prop to use during my speech. Also, what may seem like an inconvenience at the time, in other words, when I was packing, I didn't want my luggage to be too heavy, I didn't want to pay the extra fees, I didn't want to have it in my carry-on luggage. Had I chosen to carry it on, I would have my books with me. So as you are going through a season of growth, which I hope is always, because remember what I say, you're breathing, it's for a reason. There's still something on this earth for you to accomplish. Look for the lessons in life. You always have a choice. Are you going to be a victim or a victor? Is life happening to you or is life happening for you? Whichever way you look at it, it's going to determine what's happening. Thank you for tuning in today. Lisa, I'll see you soon. Sherry, I think I get to see you too. Andrea, I saw her already in the lobby. She's like really tall. I don't care if she had on heels. She's tall. Cynthia, love you. And yes, you are. You know what? You've encouraged me just now. If you're a victor, type that in the comments. If you're a victim, go ahead and type that in the comments as well. Why? Because with awareness comes the possibility for change. You're either claiming your victory or you know you have the option to change that mind, make that mind shift. Wherever you are today, I pray that you're open and aware to the lessons so that you can close the gap from where you are to where you want to be. Enjoy the process of growth. Close the gap. And I want to give a shout out to everybody who's on their way traveling here. I've got a big hug just for you. Can't wait to see you. You inspire me. I know people have flown literally across the pond and from all areas of the country to be here. So we're going to set Columbus on fire. It's going to be an inferno around here. And I can't wait to see you next week and give you an update. And updates throughout. In fact, you know what? Do this. Follow me on Instagram, on Facebook, on uh, YouTube. Subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be doing random and spontaneous updates and live streams through Sunday, which will be the entire conference. And who knows who you'll meet. Well, it's a famous people here. Like, legit, y'all. Okay? Have a great day. Take care. And remember, you can live every day as a well-done life. It's up to you.